as a system administrator or an IT analyst, when you run GP update slash first on a client machine, you would expect to get a result like this. Your computer policy update has completed successfully. User policy update has completed successfully. You may get some minor error messages, but generally you expect your group policy to get update on your client device. However, in some situations you may have come across uh, when you enter GP update slash force the error called the group policy processing error also known as the computer policy could not be updated successfully because there is something wrong with the processing of the policies. So for example if I run group uh, policy update again by entering GP update slash force in this command prompt window I expect to get an error message because I intentionally created this error for the demonstration. And uh, there you go. I got an error message saying the computer policy update has successfully completed, but the following warnings were encountered during computer policy processing. The group policy client side extension software installation was unable to apply one or more settings because the changes must be processed before the system startup or user login. The system will wait for the group policy processing to finish the uh, you know, uh, completely before the next uh, startup login uh, for this user. Uh, and this may result in slow startup and boot performance. The user policy update has completed successfully. And then it says right here for more details, review the event log by running GP result slash H, GP result, uh, so GP report dot HTML uh, from the command line to access uh, information about the group policy results. Certain pol computer policies are unable uh, that can only run during startup. But what important here is that there is an error while updating uh, the policies because it clearly says right here the following warnings were encountered during the policy processing. By just reading what's going on here you can see there is something wrong with the group policy. The first thing you can do in a situation like this is to open your um, file explorer. Uh, so on the file explorer go to C uh, right here so C Windows system 32 group policy machine and this registry this is basically a group policy updated file right click on it and rename it to something else so I'm going to call it BCK basically it's a backup and I'm going to say yes and then if you run it again I'm going to click no here that may result in updating the group policy properly without any of the errors encountered above. But however, in this situation, uh, obviously I am getting that error message. Now, in this scenario, uh, I'm just gonna clear this screen. Uh, so remember, we ran this, but we end up getting an error message and it, you can look at look for hints why the group policy have certain errors. In this situation, it clearly says that the group policy client side extension software installation was unable to apply one or more settings because um, the changes must be processed before the system startup or logon. So that may be the only issue. But you can also look at um, the results of the group policies by typing GP result slash R and if you press enter it will give you the information on what is being applied the group policy is being applied to your device so under GP result slash R you see that you know these are the apply policies the firewall settings for clients uh, lock screen interactive logon message bit locker GPU etc etc so those are the policies that have been applied and he's here is the part of the net uh, you know uh, the the domain that you are 
like for example in this this computer is part of the security groups uh, within that domain and it shows what user settings uh, are applied right here and uh, you know other details sometimes you can dive down here dig in here and figure out what's going on but in this particular example that I'm using, which I have intentionally created a problem, the issue uh, is basically a specific group policy that is causing a problem for this device. Even if I rebooted, this error message is still going to pop up. So how can you fix it? You, if, if you are the system administrator or IT analyst, you should go back to your uh, server and then check any group policies that has recently been updated or any group policies that you have just recently created and pushed out because these errors doesn't pop out at random so I'm gonna go back to my uh, server and let's check some group policies and I will give you an overview of what I'm talking about so I'm on my server and this is my group policy management screen and I see the GPOs that's available to me or created and where those GPOs are applied. Now, to prevent that error message, you can simply either disabling or, you know, removing some of these policies. And, you know, basically you can put all the policies down here. You can keep it here and you can delete it from where it is being applied at the organizational unit level. And then you can go back to your machine. So I have a virtual machine and you can try to rerun the GP update slash force and see if that fix it. So the first thing we're gonna do is to just basically rename the registry file in here and just rerun the GP update slash force command on the command prompt. If that failed, you need to go back to your server, figure out whatever the GP uh, you know group policies that you have recently added and maybe remove it or disable it and then go back to your client machine and run GP update slash force and then see if that fixed the problem if that fixed the problem then you need to realize the issue is with one of your GPOs specifically a GPO that you have recently created and then go ahead and find a solution to fix that issue so that's everything for today. I just want to show you, you know, how typically you would manage a group policy error. Um, the key things to get take out of this is first try to update, uh, you know, rename the uh, the registry uh, file in the C Windows System 32 group policy machine location on the on the client device. If that fails, then you have to go back to your Windows Server and figure out which new policy is causing the error. And that's everything for today. Make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.